been reading tarot cards for over 33 years and has been featured on many local and national radio and television programs. This spring, her new book, Fixed Stars Govern a Life, Decoding Sylvia Plath, will be released. Please welcome Julia Gordon Bramer. Julia, welcome to STL TV. Hi. Thanks, Sarah. So who is Sylvia Plath? Uh, Sylvia Plath is one of the most famous contemporary poets and writers, American poets and writers uh, of our time. Um, uh, she's right up there with Emily Dickinson uh, as far as kind of, of in the greats, mm -hmm. uh, also from, from Massachusetts like Emily Dickinson. Uh, she is unfortunately perhaps best known uh, for her tragic suicide. She um, uh, had a, a pretty rough go of things. Uh, she wrote The Bell Jar, which is a very famous novel, which is very close to her autobiography. Not exactly, mm -hmm. you know, she is some poetic license there, but uh, so most people know she went through electric shock therapy, uh, suffered terrible depression, and, uh, and eventually killed herself in 1963. Mm. So interesting that you as a tarot card reader has a special interest in her. Is there a correlation? Oh yeah, um, you know, I, I fell in love with Sylvia Plath's work when I was about 16. Uh, interestingly, you know, maybe this is uh, just, just a little random fact, but I am, uh, I was born almost exactly nine months after she died. Mm. Not that nine months is, is any mystical mm. figure or anything. Uh, but, uh, but so, um, yeah, her work always meant a lot to me. I came to her poetry later uh, when I was when I went back to college, and um, again, it, it spoke to me in a way that um, that no other poet had before. Mm. Uh, at that time, I didn't quite have a full understanding of it. I was reading it kind of on the surface level. She is considered to be one of the confessional poets. Uh, some people even credit her with starting the genre of confessional poetry. It's interesting though because her um, husband Ted Hughes said that she was not a confessional poet and um, and I believe now since doing my, my work with decoding Sylvia Plath through tarot and the Kabbalah that uh, he was absolutely right. Mm -hmm. uh, she sort of used that guise that is um, sort of like the most surface level, the autobiography. So uh, confessional poetry is autobiographical poetry? Yeah, then? yeah. It's, you know, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm depressed. I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You know, l hopefully said a little better than so that. So first person, <laughs> generally speaking. Right. Okay, right. so decoding Sylvia Plath. Yeah, what, yeah. How do you do that? How did you do that? And um, why did you do that? Well, you know, well, let's start with that title first of all. Um, Fixed Stars Govern a Life is a line from her poetry. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking at Platt's collection called Ariel, which is kind of um, the great poetry collection. Uh, she had a, a first collection called The Colossus, which was just much more quiet and, and didn't get the attention. Ariel got her attention um, posthumously. It, it was published posthumously, but um, it's an amazing collection. The first time that it was published, her husband, Ted Hughes, uh, released it, but he rearranged it, and he added some poems and took some poems out. Uh, it did fantastically, however, uh, in 2004, their daughter Frida Hughes published Ariel, the restored edition. Mm -hmm. This was the collection that Plath intended. And this was the collection that I happened to be looking at in graduate school. So I was finishing up my semester uh, taking poetry form and fiction, and uh, or, I'm sorry, poetry form and theory, and I had to come up with a final project for the mm -hmm. end of the semester. Um, my professor suggested that I look into, uh, I, he, I kept seeing these tarot images and I kept saying, Steve, what, look, look at this. This is the Knight of Swords. This is the King you of You saw Cups. these images while reading her poetry? Yes, okay. yes. And, and I kept pointing them out to mm -hmm. my professor. He was very amused at, at mm. my whole tarot background mm. anyway, and he's actually a big part of why I became a professional reader, because he kept encouraging me to, to do that. Um, and, and so he said, well, why don't you follow up on those tarot images? 
And I was like, are you kidding? That would be a dream come true. I, I thought they were sick of hearing about so, that. So, and we're going to take a break in just a oh, minute. Sure. So mm -hmm. I don't want to interrupt you, mm -hmm. Julia, but what, what you're saying then is you were able, you saw these images in her poetry and then you were able to, um, to interpret perhaps her poetry in a different way and then write a book about that. Yes. Yeah. That, okay. That's in a nutshell. Yeah. Sure. In a nutshell. We're going to take a quick break, but um, we've got so much more to talk about with Julia. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this break.